big, big crack. So pack the render off. This is one crack that I've already filled and sorted. I'll show you that in a minute. But this is what we're dealing with. Just hack the render off and then we've got this big crack here. So in today's video, we're gonna look at how to sort it. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna show you what we've gonna use for the job. I'm in the garage of my new house. This is actually my own uh, house and rendering. That's one that's causing me the most troubles, to be honest. <laughs> this is my garage, thing we need. So, if we come over here, I'll show you what we're gonna need for the job. This has got a brew on the go, obviously. Got this. Let's get this up. So what we need to do is we need to stabilize the area that's cracked. So the idea is there's been a bit of movement, something's dropped. And um, I know, because this is the house we're living in now, is downstairs we've got big double windows, very big, they're about 3.2 meters. And um, basically they've been cut back, there's been an RSJ put in place above the new windows. Um, and we think the movement started from there. Not only that, it's block work as well. So blocks will naturally crack a lot more than than a standard brick will also, which is never good. Um, basically, it's it's gonna it's got a bigger chance of cracking than rather than a brick. But the idea is what we need to do is stabilize a crack. We think it's cracked once, probably won't happen again. But I'm gonna be over cautious and get a kit in. So basically, what everyone uses tend to use is a product called Heli Flip Fix. And it's basically where you rake out the joints, you put a steel bar in, and then you compress it with resin. I'm going to show you. I went for this company though. It's a bit different. I'm not endorsed by them. Um, and the main, re main reason I did it is because they were cheaper. <laughs> so we've got the Shore Bond Anchor Systems. Basically, this is a resin that you get. You get a nozzle which is a twist nozzle. Basically, when you force the resin through, it'll mix the two compounds together. It's like Araldite, I suppose, in that system where you're mixing the two compounds and then it sets. Um, I'm gonna show you all this in a minute. I'm just showing you what you get in a kit. You get a, I'm quite impressed, I've already done one joint. You get a pretty sick little uh, gun to apply it with. But then this is what we're fit working into the joint. This, these are little steel rods. Flexible, which allows you to go around corners, allows you to go and just work into any mortar joint you've got. Obviously, what you'll see in a minute is where I've got the joint is staggered and it's cracked a bit, which is where this is useful because you bend it around. So the idea is we're going to rake out the joints, pump some resin in, and then we're going to fix the bars into place. And when the resin and the bars set together, that's where your strength is. Um, basically, I think it's the resin that's got most strength. The steel just allows you to compress in and around. It gives it a point where you can push the resin in and around a joint. So what we're going to need, we're going to need a grinder. We're going to need a mask. We're going to need some goggles, eye protection. And I'm going to show you everything you need to do to make sure this joint is fixed. So let's get out there and let's do it. So the first job is to grind these joints out. I've got my little DeWalt grinder here. I'm just going to do it to a... Uh, the thickness of the blade that is more than enough from the amount of times I've done it because you've got to get your resin in behind and then the rods in on top of that so you don't want it too too deep not only that but I don't know if you can see these blocks are very very skinny uh, so you don't want to go too far so that's the first job I'm going to rake these joints out and then we're going to clean them up with water wash them out and that means it'll be ready for the resin when it comes to using it and um, the other thing is I've got the rod and I've marked roughly where I want to stop. You don't want to go too far, otherwise you'll just end up wasting resin. So that's that. I'm going to start grinding and let's get it done.
Okay, so I'm done with the cutting. I formed a nice channel. You don't want it too deep either, because you don't want it too thick, because the resin won't spread properly. So it's a nice even channel all along the motor line. Now we're gonna do got a bit of water. Clean it out. Just get the water right in there. Just really clean the dust out. If you've got a nozzle, even better. But this is fine. Got the resin in the tube. We get the nozzle. I've already partially used this one. Just put it in. Couldn't be any easier, just pump it in. Do two slots. Stop your rods. Push it all in, I'm going to use a spoon. <laughs> Literally just push the steel in with the resin. Pump another layer in. So if you can see, what we're doing is pushing the resin in deep, in and around them steel rods. Just making sure it fills the back and the front evenly distributed. Should really use in a pointing trial, but a spoon will do. <laughs> there you go, you can tell it's right pushed. It's deep, filled deep with resin. And we know fully filled. So now you can either point it, obviously I'm going to render it all so I'm not going to bother, but if it was just uh, finished brickwork, you can do this and then point it so it's filled in and you would not see any resin. That's literally it. Wait for it to dry and you're done. That's literally all there is to it. Um, just filling, raking, resin, bead, that is it. Um, there's nothing else to it really. Now, like we said, you can either point that in to fill in the gaps and then you can obviously have it in finished work or like in my case, I'm gonna render it. I'm also gonna put some EML between the crack there. Um, I know it probably won't help, but that's just when you render into it, it's gonna fill the crack and it'll stop it coming through again. So um, that's this video today. That shows you how to deal with crack wall like I said, it'll take about two hours for that to fully cure, but one that I did about 20 minutes ago is rock solid, so I think they should just say that to cover the backs. Uh, 
and um, like I said I'm gonna quickly get that prep now and I can start rendering it knowing that that particular crack is safe from returning and it's gonna stop it cracking through on the render so if you enjoyed this video please give me a like and subscribe and um, thanks so much for watching and yeah I'll see you on the next one leave a comment feel free to leave anything below we'd love to hear from you thank you